All right, we're looking at uh, extension tables again, and Bob's going to talk about the apron. It's just on the uh, on the table, on the extension table, on the table itself, because it's pinned here and it's pinned here, these can be right flush so that you don't need a gap there. You could have... This is know, without the extension. Yeah, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or something. Now, right now. So we're looking at an extension table. Bob's going to talk about how the apron should be to make the, um, the trim pieces work properly. What we've had to do on these is remove this piece and take it in here and out over here because when you put the little piece on the side here, it was coming along and it was hitting this one. So you have to be able to put them on this side. If you put it on this side, on this one, you have to put it on this side and this one. And then they were... So this one here has to be out, this has to be in, just a little bit, you know, just so they're going to clear when you're open and closing. The other thing was we found that they were, um, they were too wide, because they're, they're hitting like well, this one here right now is hitting on the top right there. So these have to be a little bit narrower so you can center them and they're going to slide right in between here and here. Rather than worry about these being in or these being out and having clearance, if you to take your, your little block, now this is an exaggeration, but if you take it and cut it out, remove this part here, right? So we nail it on here, then you've got this much gap, so it doesn't matter whether this is in or out or a little bit, it's still going to clear when you open and close the table. So if you were to make them something like that, then we don't have to worry about them being in and out.